we try to do here is simply just perfect the art of beer and the art of brewing. We approach a style and say, how can we do this the best that we can? How can we pay homage to our ancestors and those who have brewed beers in the past? One of the great things about having a brew pub is that we don't have to be consistent with a beer offering. What we can do is, is invite all of our customers to be on this journey with us and to say, you know, explore beer as we're exploring beer. And that way it gives us that luxury and flexibility of being able to work in different types and styles of beers depending on what's fresh and what's local and what's available at that time. Another unique aspect of our brewery and uh, one of the things that, that certainly elevates us as a brand is when I come to Vault, it's, it's going to be uh, an impressive experience. And that has to do a lot with the location that we're in. This bank is so cool. It was built in 1889 uh, and was the home of about a dozen banks. There's no other brewery in the world that I'm familiar with that is in a bank. It was definitely a more challenging process than simply opening a brewery in a warehouse, which is what most people do. Yet if we did that, we wouldn't have this really cool atmosphere in here. So we're approaching our one year anniversary. As with opening any new business, you're gonna be confronted with obstacles. Uh, when we first opened, but the entire place was very different. We had a uh, different drink and food offering. In fact, we didn't even have bar stools. Uh, we built out an entire patio with additional seating. We expanded our kitchen and our menu. Um, we've added more equipment to the brewery. We had to open through Hurricane Sandy of last year. We opened for three weeks and suddenly we were without power and we were serving food by candlelight. And uh, another benefit of having a wood-fired oven is that it doesn't require any electricity. So it was a great time being able to be open during uh, a power outage and we could be serving food. So for our one year anniversary, we do have some very special things that are planned. We wanna be able to celebrate the occasion and thank our customers. Uh, we have two hand pumps and we are putting a Russian Imperial Stout uh, on both those hand pumps Yet one is going to be aged with maple syrup and, and coffee, and the other one with chocolate and vanilla. So you get to try the Russian Imperial Stout a few different ways. Uh, also, we're releasing a whole bunch of other special beers that day, uh, and it's going to be a, a fun occasion. We'll have live music, and we're just looking forward to celebrating and being one year old with all of our customers. Normally, our beer is served in pints or in growlers. So to do a bottle release is a very big step for us. Bottles can be shared very easily. They have labels that can be read, and it's, it's very convenient for people to go and take it home and, and bring it somewhere else. And we're really excited to offer those to the public as additional product offering on the beer side. For our second year, we're looking to do as much as we can uh, in growing. We, we opened this great place, and we're sharing beer with everybody. Where do we go from here? Now what do we do? How do we grow? How do we expand? Right now, that answer is not entirely found. Obviously, we have the option to have open up another facility and brew a lot more beer and get it into many places as possible. We could also start opening up brew pubs under a different name uh, just to bring similar experiences to, to other areas. But we're certainly up to the challenge for however we decide to grow and however we work with our customers to determine what is the best way to bring what we've created to more people. One of the unique things about being a brewer in the craft industry today is there are so many other brewers that are doing fun, interesting, unique beers and are just brewing great beer out there. So it's a wonderful community of people that want to share and help each other. So we'll be working more closely with some of the uh, other local brewers in the future in order to more align the industry uh, together and help each other grow. We're all looking to convert the, the, the whole world into craft beer and we're looking forward to, being, to playing a larger role in that in our second year. However it works out, we're sure that uh, we'll have the support and it's gonna be a fun journey. If I could give a message to my customers and supporters that have been with me from the last year, really what I wanna say is thank you. Because we could not have done any of this and we could not be here today without your generous support and without everything that you are doing. Uh, there are so many times when you have all come to me and express gratitude for what we created here, but also give us ideas and to say, you know what would also be cool if you did this, 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 and this. And that's what actually enabled us to grow and to evolve and, and become the great place that we are one year from, from opening day. So thank you for what you've done and don't stop.